Welcome to another Life Skills webinar. I'm Mr. DeVelder, your second or third or maybe first favorite Life Skills teacher, depending on uh, your preference. Anyway, today we're going to go over the baseball defensive positions and the baseball field that baseball is played on. So, what is baseball? Baseball is a game played, and it's a game played between two teams of nine players on a field that's shaped like a diamond with a circuit of four bases. So we'll take a look at that. There's a picture of a real game going on there. And you see the diamond shape field. And there's players out there called fielders. And there's a pitcher on the mound and a catcher behind the plate. And there's bases. First, second, third, and home plate. We'll go over those in this webinar. So in baseball, you have some equipment too you have to wear. Let's talk about that. First, you have a baseball bat. The batter will hit the ball with the bat. It's a baseball bat. Then, the batter wears a helmet for protection. If they, don't get, if they get hit in the head, they need a helmet on to protect their brains. This, this guy's wearing a helmet, and he's getting ready to be a batter in the game. These two guys have gloves on. Those gloves are there to catch the ball. It'd be very hard to catch a baseball with no glove. You would hurt your hand. So the glove is there to catch the ball and protect your hand. You wear it on your non-throwing hand. So if you throw with your right hand, you would wear your glove on your left hand. Both of these guys have their glove on their left hand. Then the catcher, he wears lots of gear because he's in a position to get hit by the ball a lot. So he has a mask on a helmet, a chest protector, and shin pads on, and he also wears a glove just like every other fielder. And then of course you need a baseball to play baseball. It's a small white ball with laces on it, and it's pretty hard. Now that you know what you need, let's go over the field. So first, here's the basic shape of the field. You have home plate. That's where the batter stands, and that's how you score a run. If you make it all the way around the bases and touch home plate, you get a run in baseball. And then there's first base. That's where you run after you hit the ball. You run to first base. At the top, there's second base. And what do you think's next? That's right, third base. And we have an outfield out here. You have positions in the outfield. That's past the dirt and out into the field where there's grass. And I think I'm forgetting something. I wonder what I'm forgetting. Oh, almost the most important spot. The pitcher's mound. The pitcher throws the ball to the batter. And that's where the game begins, from the pitcher. All right, now that you know the field layout, let's talk about the positions in the field that players play. You have the pitcher. He throws the ball towards the batter and tries to get him out with strikes. There's three strikes in baseball and you're out, just like in the song. Then you have the catcher who wears all the gear. The pitcher throws the ball to the catcher and the catcher catches it. You have the first baseman. He stands near first base and he touches it when he needs to get a person out. He doesn't stand on first base the whole time. He plays a little bit to the side of first base. Then you have the second baseman. He stands in between first and second base, and he fields the ball in between those bases. Then you have the third baseman. He stands near third base, and uh, he, he, uh, he protects that base. Then we're missing somebody. There's no fourth base, but there is a shortstop and he stands in between second base and third base. Then in the outfield you have the left fielder who covers the left side, the center fielder who stands in the middle, and the right fielder. That's where Henry Hawkins plays, Mrs. Hawkins' son. He's a right fielder. So that's the basic nine positions on a baseball field. We'll be learning more about baseball in the near future.